Hey folks, Ray from Love you RV. So it's been a bit of time since I've last updated you on our snowbird trip. Uh, so I'll let you know what we've been up to in December. Started off up here in Dove Springs. That's where the, the last update kind of ended. Um, spent some time there, then went down to Mojave, visited some friends that live there. Down to Salton Sea, camped along the Salton Sea, then over to Kofa National Wildlife Refuge then to Saddle Mountain, and now down to the Aho Y area. Uh, so I'll give you a little a closer look at each place and let you know about the, the camping. I've actually done videos of all these places in the past. We've we've visited them in the past. They're kind of like really favorite places of ours because of the, the beauty of the landscape. So it's really good for photography and some nice hiking. And also, um, they're not very uh, populated with people. So we kind of like that. It's kind of off the beaten track. Anyway, we'll start with Dove Springs. Now, this is a off-road area, staging area, and we did get there pretty close to Thanksgiving, so there was actually quite a few people there. Uh, it's not too far from Red Rock Canyon State Park, which is another really nice place. Anyway, we got ourselves a little little spot up here. Um, I think it was along this road here. We grabbed one of these spots, and we spent about a week there leading up to the, the American Thanksgiving uh, long weekend. Uh, it started to really fill up and, and we ended up uh, taking off after about a week and just heading down a little ways. I had some uh, packages coming um, to for product reviews and we always seem to stop in this little town in Mojave and visit some friends there. We have some really good friends that live there. It's uh, not really a place you'd ever go visit. Um, just to really kind of along the road town, although it is home to the Mojave Air and Spaceport, which is kind of interesting. You do see a lot of funky uh, planes uh, flying around there. So we stayed there a little while and, uh, and visited our friends, and I did a few things around the rig and did a few reviews, and then we are off down to Salton Sea. Now this is sort of over the years, it's become a favorite of ours. It's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Um, some people say, you know, there's some smell in the air because of the sea and uh, it's kind of turning into kind of an environmental disaster as it gets uh, saltier and saltier. There's less, there's actually no fish in it anymore, uh, just some small shrimp and stuff. Anyway, um, we really like this campground, Salt Creek Beach Campground. It's 10 bucks a night. Uh, it's uh, right on the on the sea here. There is a freshwater creek that comes out, so then there's some nice bird life there. So I actually have another video um, from this day, and Anne did a, a drone, some drone shots here, so I'll link to her video as well because it's kind of really interesting to see it from above. Um, it's ten dollars a night for the dry camping, and we could uh, you know dump and fill our tanks. Um, down there's a kind of a full hookup area. They call it the headquarters camp. A little bit more this way, that has kind of uh, RV hookups and stuff like that. But unfortunately, the sea is getting worse and worse. But I hear they they've got some reconstruction product projects happening down at this end. They're they're going to kind of do a, kind of a preservation for wildlife and and try to improve upon it. And there's a talk of lithium mining going on, so that may may help it as well. Anyway, we don't stay there too long. Uh, sometimes the air can get pretty bad there. Um, so we we stayed maybe about a week or 10 days, and then we we're off again. And we headed over to uh, another favorite. We've been a few times. It's a Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. Uh, just south of, you know, the famous court site where a ton of... Uh, RVers go during the winter. There's a big show that happens in January, and there's some long-term uh, uh, LTVA places where you can pay, I think, 180 for the for the winter, and you can stay there boondocking in that area. So a lot of people, that's very attractive to, to them. Not really my cup of tea. It's just a little too crowded for me. So, but down here, there's a wildlife refuge, and I find it a little <clears throat> more prettier. And uh, we camped. Right near this uh, the, the spiral labyrinth here, you can see it. You can see it actually from the satellite view. Someone's done some rock formations here. It's kind of interesting, and we were actually camped right around here, and uh, we actually took a hike on our anniversary day up into Palm Canyon here. 
you can drive right up to it on it's called well, a dirt road but uh, it's easy pretty flat road you can almost drive any vehicle up there and uh, up in here there's some uh, natural California fan palms I think they are the only ones that are natural in Arizona and are up in a little crevice up here you have to go I don't know, it's maybe a half mile hike to get up there and you go up about 300 feet in elevation and uh, you can go up and see see those, kind of interesting. Anyway, we actually I got quite a few good photos from here. So at the end of this video, I'm going to do a kind of slideshow of the, the photos I've gotten at the various places. But there was a, a kind of a cold front went through and uh, it rained a couple nights and it uh, really... Uh, made the desert look terrific with the clouds and the wetted down desert. After we stayed there a week or so, went up to a quartz site and dumped our tanks. There's a RV pit stop up there, dumped, filled, got new propane, so we we're all filled and ready to go. And then we went over to Saddle Mountain. We've been there several times. Um, the reason I went there is I have a friend that lives in Buckeye, not too far away. Uh, here's Phoenix over here in the outskirts are Buckeye and uh, he had some uh, batteries he had bought uh, the AO lithium batteries and I and I said I'd help him uh, guide him in the, during the install into his RV so that was the main reason I went back there but uh, really the, every time we've been here in the last few years uh, the the house flies have been kind of out of hand they uh, there's a chicken farm right here in Tonopah. I don't know if that's a, if they slaughter the chickens or it's an egg farm, but some somewhere they store the manure, and that manure pile has breeds flies. And they they as soon as they see your RV over here, they they tend to come over and congregate. Usually during the warm parts of the day, they're not there in the morning or the evening because it was a little too cold for them. But as soon as it gets up, temperatures get up into the 60s and sunny, they all like a magnet to your RV and then you end up killing flies all day in the RV so kind of annoying also uh, one thing I should update you on is there used to be a a guy a saddle vista ranch here and uh, he has a RV dump and, and water fill and I think you take your garbage all for a fee but uh, his rates are up to for the dump is $25 now so it's pretty steep just to dump your your tank so we went over there and we're going to dump our tank but 25 we were we decided to keep going so our next stop was down towards Ajo um, Arizona down here near Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument and so we stopped off in Gila Bend and uh, there was a truck stop in Gila Bend that used to be the Holt Shell now I think it's a a pilot or something like that but they had one of those ma those machines that you go in and it was only ten dollars to to dump the tank so a little bit of a savings there so went down there dumped in Gila Bend and then we cruised down this is really a favorite area of ours there's a the Ajo and a place called Y over here so there's some camping around Ajo and called the Scenic Loop and it's a really pretty lush desert. And there's also a place called Gunsight Wash that's really nice down near Y. Um, there's an RV park that has actually hookups in, and boondocking called Coyote Owls, I believe. We're actually maybe going to give that a try. And then, of course, there's the famous Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument, which is a really nice place to camp as well. So we'll probably spend most of January down here and uh, see what we get up to. Anyway, I thought I'd give you a little update on, on what we've been doing and uh, I'll give you a little uh, slideshow of some of the better pictures I was able to, to get in the last month. Till next time, Ray from Love Your RV. Cheers, guys.